So the Hulk's evolution in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is rather interesting. You have the Incredible Hulk, where more or less he was just a mindless beast used to pummel Abomination. Next time we saw him in the Avengers, you know, he clearly got a CG makeover, but he was still largely a very just angry beast trapped within the confines of this giant green monster that tears everything apart but it seemed like he showed a little bit more awareness then of course in age of ultron we see that he's able to kind of calm down when somebody can be there to help him and of course in thor ragnarok we saw that the hulk was actually taking control of bruce banner able to suppress him and actually start formulating his own thoughts that bruce wasn't even aware of and we've known for a while that this was going to be something that they're building up a giant three film story arc for Bruce Banner and the Hulk. Well now we have some other news. But here is what Mark Ruffalo had to say about this. He says and I quote, the Hulk is also mightily impressed by Thanos. The Hulk's ability to communicate and think will continue to progress as was evident in his last Marvel Cinematic Universe appearance. The division between Hulk and Banner is starting to blur a little bit. You have a Hulk that can actually express himself without being angry. Such skills will come in handy when teaming up with new friends like the Black Panther and his Wakanda nation. Now, I can't be the only one that reads that and hears that and thinks, wait a second, they're literally talking about Hulk in his own now. It's not Bruce Banner in control anymore. And to me, it's starting to seem more and more like they're actually somewhat of split personalities now that can fully control their each and own side, but one doesn't interfere with the other, which honestly, I think that's a very cool way to take it because the ability to have Bruce let the Hulk out at any time he wants and then have the Hulk be his own thing and then the Hulk can revert back to Bruce, like a symbiotic relationship that depends on both of them, gets me really interested because that's more than the Hulk has ever really done. Like, it's an interesting relationship building aspect that we haven't seen before. 